Good morning, everyone. I'm so happy to be coming to you guys with a video. Not mad, my foundation is still like in the midst of oxidizing. But I decided to do my makeup. I just finished about three or four minutes ago. And I decided to do a Friday favorites, which everyone used to do. I'm just making sure the light is on because I always forget. <laughs> um, a Friday favorites, which what um, I used to look forward to before. Like that was like so 2000 YouTube beauty gurus. And I feel like Friday favorites are such an essential thing with everyone being stuck home. And a lot of people not being able to get out. So I decided to put together um, a few food products. This Friday favorites, hopefully this will encourage somebody to kind of work on their diet. I know we're all stuck in the house. So I'm going to talk about some basically vegan dairy-free food. And this is from, it's two different brands. One is the Garden Something In. Garden In is the meatless seven grain crispy tenders made with oats, quintala, quintala and meals meal like actual like flour meal things of that nature these are so delicious so delicious i got these from walmart i don't think there's that many chickens because like four in the pot maybe like seven or eight in here so i ate three and i just um did um french fries it was very meal fulfilling and it helped with my type one I, a lot of you guys do not know i do have high sugar so i'm a type one diabetic and I noticed that when I ate these, I did not feel overwhelmed full. It did not make my sugar go sky high. It's only eight, only eight carbohydrates. So that's for two pieces. And I had about um, three pieces. So all together, I think I had like my whole combination just to eat these, I think was like, if you want to be like technical, was about 12 carbohydrates. And then I had the fries and then that was it. I just had the diet soda. Sorry. Y'all ain't perfect. So then the next one is the Morningstar Farm Veggie um, Buffalo Chick Patties. And these are um, 9 grams of plant-based protein and it's 53% less fat. Um, the chicken strips takes about 10 minutes to cook. And then um, these are, I think there's only like 4 in here. I've had 2 so far. I probably would have one today. Or maybe tomorrow but these are oh god i just dropped a patty <laughs> ah we like just put these in the lot freezer i'm gonna throw it in the trash but um i'd say these are good i love these i put blue ranch with regular like red up there and these are 19 carbohydrates so if you are a tight one or you're on a low carb diet i would say get these these are very very good um once again had no issues with my sugar or anything they i don't know what sandwich i was i think these i think these were supposed to be like my version of like the arby's ranch buffalo uh chicken sliders or whatever they are they are similar but they're not the same disclaimer but that's what i thought when i seen these oh this is good about three dollars so i'm actually going on a veggie run today because i'm like obsessed and i notice when i don't eat vegan i feel worse so I normally do rotate for about three or four days out the week. So one meal out the week, normally I eat it. And I think I've done like three or four days. So that includes no dairy during actual lunch as well. So yeah, I don't, I don't use any cheese. So it actually has helped my diet. So that's it for that part um, of the video. Let's get to into the beauty products. So I want to talk about this foundation. I've always said this is the everyday foundation and it is this is the perfect foundation to wear when you're working from home um just out and about grocery shopping and it is the covergirl true blend matte made foundation and mine is in d10 and um i have been walking and i've got a little more tanner so it look, does look a little bit better on my skin but it is a nice finish i would just say use a dome brush with this don't use a sponge because this has medium coverage for me. Today I'm wearing the Juvia's Place. I'm wearing that foundation that's a little bit more heavier due to your full coverage foundation. I don't know if you can tell. You can't really see much on my face. But this is more of an everyday foundation. And I did actually have to say this was very, very nice and refreshing. I was waiting for my other products to show up. Um, Let's see. So let's start with powder. Now my nose is always <laughs> on oil. Um, I think it's become a little more oilier as the weather has changed over the last four or five years. 
so I end up buying the um, Beauty Bakery Flower Better Not Bitter Powder in Almond. I'm actually going to get this in a lighter shade. I'm going to get it in caramel so I can set underneath my eyes. But this is a really good skin tone powder for right now. It actually does look very, very nice. Haven't had too much issues with breakouts or anything with that. Um, but that's, you know, I think this is a good powder. I normally use the AOA Studio, but this was very impressive because this is my exact skin tone. So I really did enjoy that as well. Then I also loved, let's get into some lipsticks. Um, I didn't have a lot of beauty foundation favorites because this is like a week. And I was going to only wear foundation like five times out of a week. So out of the, you only wear about five days. There's two days I just don't wear it. So that will probably be tomorrow. And that will probably be Sunday. So you probably would not catch anything on my face. Um, so that's why it's only a few products. The three lip glosses or lip products are one is the Uma Beauty and Savage. I've been looking for orange for a long time. This, I'm not going to swatch this. This is gorgeous. It's moisturizing and it's good for 18 months. It's worth it. The glitter is not glitter what just digs into your lip. That's what I love. I'm obsessed. I probably will be wearing that first thing next week. And then this one is the Uma Beauty <clears throat> Boss Gloss. And this is in Rose. This is like the glossiest gloss. I'm going to pick some more of hers up as well. I love the formula. It's so like gorgeous. It is a little lip staining. <clears throat> the only thing... <clears throat> I wish they would work on would be the smell like can we get like a nice scent or something then the next one is the beauty bakery and this is the bubble wrap lip whip I love this one as well it's very pigmented it's the Barbie pink version I've been wearing it non-stop ever since I got it last into last week so I just added this into this week's favorite because I wore it like at least three or four times already and I really do like this as well today I'm just using um, Milani's Bahama Beige. Yeah, Bahama Beige. And that's just a neutral lip color. It actually is. This is actually a lipstick on my lips. <laughs> it really is neutral. Uh, a lot of people ask me, what you got on your mouth? Uh, Bahama Beige. You sure? Is that not lip chap? No, it's actually a lipstick. Okay. So that's it for my favorites. And then this is, um, the last favorite, but it's not really a beauty product. It's more of like a skincare product. It is the AOA Studio Sugar Lip Scrub. I've actually been using this. I'm trying to finish this up. It's, it's been helping me exfoliate, keeping all the dead skin off of my lips and also keeping, you know, everything looking nice. So this is the only um, product that is non-beauty related. So that's it for my favorites. Um, Let me know what your favorites was, regardless if it's beauty um, working out because I've been work walking at least 25 to 35 minutes a day. I'm attempting to get to 30 minutes, but I have been walking every, uh, uh, every twice a week. Let me rephrase that twice a week. But if you're walking every day, 25 to 30 minutes, put that down there. If you have favorite workout gear or favorite workout outfit or favorite outfit of the day or favorite meal planning or favorite food or healthy snacks. There was one snack I was going to put, but I ate all of the smart popcorn, which was very low calorie as well. So whatever your favorite is, put that down there. So I thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.